I just showed y'all my video about Black Harlem. Scully TV, by the way. <clears throat> Show y'all my um. I just showed y'all clips from my, my 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 video just on uh, YouTube that I did with Black Harlem. It's up around getting close to thirty thousand views. It's been up since too late through two thousand ten. Um. Black Harlem is a is a is a friend of mine that I met. He's from Harlem, forty first and eighth. I met him through a mutual friend, and when I first encountered Harlem, I seen him spitting a freestyle called the Harlem Street Bible on YouTube with the Aces clip. The day I lose will be the same day they gon' bury son. I was born to win. I miss Debbie son. Dark skin, handsome, two ten. I'm the shit kid. I know I could have played Rich Porter better than Mitch did. Just from hearing him rhyme on the Harlem Street Bible, I knew he was somebody that I wanted to meet. I knew he had seen a lot. I knew he was abreast of a lot of Harlem underground history. New Sims in my heart, cause I never wish to creep. Gotta respect niggas like Ty Gunn's Pistol mm. Pete. Yeah. I hate rats, they all should die, get their brain buried. Alpo told on this real dude named Wayne, Wayne Perry. Perry. And I wanted to know about it, you know what I'm saying? You can't always take the stories that you uh, see in Don Diva and Feds and you know the, these different these different magazines as the absolute truth. So I wanted to get a first-hand you know account from somebody from Harlem on what, what was going on up there in the '80s, what it was like. And Black Harlem happened to have an encounter with Alpo, the drug kingpin from Harlem, as a kid. In this video that I have. Um, he speaks of Alpo threatening to slap him at a basketball game. Apparently that's where Alpo liked to do a lot of his dirty work at basketball games. He had Demencio Benson rock at a basketball game. But anyway, I ain't going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I just want to explain to y'all what growth is. 2010, I filmed Black Hall. I'm talking about Wayne Perry. Because around that time, that's when a lot of the DVDs were coming out and, you know, the stories and shit. And hearing about a guy like Wayne Perry is fascinating because he's like a black hitman. He's a black hitman, basically. And the story is fascinating to read about a black hitman. It's shocking and fascinating. But, again, I'm telling you about growth right now. That was my frame of mind in 2010. I'm getting a little older now and I'm getting a lot more advanced in my thinking and... I was reading some of the comments that people left on my videos and they compared Wayne Perry to the Black Holocaust. Um, genocide was mentioned, a whole lot of names in res regards to Wayne Perry. My thoughts on it is, me, like a lot of people, applaud Rick Wayne Perry or, you know, big him up like he's a real nigga. Aside from the fact that he's a black killer, he killed a whole bunch of black people. It's almost public knowledge that Wayne Perry had some homosexual shit with him. You know what I'm saying? Like he was even uh, quoted as threatened dude, threatening guys. I fuck you right now, nigga. You sucker. Like he's one of them niggas. Wayne Perry ain't shit. And niggas like Wayne Perry ain't shit. They not to be glorified. And although you see a um, a blog about him associated with my brand, I produced it. I don't support Wayne Perry. I don't support black on black crime. I don't support niggas like Wayne Perry at all. Wayne Perry is famous for killing a bunch of fucking black people. So when you speak Wayne Perry's name, speak him in the same uh Speak him in the same light as you would speak uh, Adolf Hitler, motherfucker who killed large amounts of people and shit. That's who Wayne Perry was, you know what I'm saying? A one-man black genocide. This is Gully TV. Follow us on Twitter. I just had to get that out there, man, because this video is creating a whole lot of... You know, people got strong feelings about Wayne Perry and the Alpo situation, but I'm just speaking on Alpo. 
and Wayne Perry entirely. I don't support what neither one of them niggas did. And you tune in to Gully TV. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to our new YouTube channel, The Real Gully TV. Mmm, I'm tripping wrong. We out.